Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're back once again with my monthly sponsored video from Plex. And this month, I thought we would take a look at the mobile app. Uh, this app runs on iOS and Android, and they made some big changes to it a few months ago, and I thought I would step in now that it's been out there for a few months and show you some ways to better optimize it and find some ways to get at your content more efficiently. So we're going to step through some of the ways you can use the mobile app here in just a second. But I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and they have not reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see some ways that we can make this app work better for us. So this is the home screen of your Plex app, and these are the default settings. So this should look close to what yours will look like if you just boot it up. You start off, of course, with your continue watching section here. Uh, this section will aggregate a bunch of different content from different libraries that you started watching but haven't yet finished. Uh, on deck is similar in that it will show you what you have next coming up in queue, and you can uh, take a look and see what you haven't watched yet there. And you've got some other things like recently added movies, recently added TV. And what's interesting is that these sections here will also aggregate content from multiple libraries on your server. Uh, so for example, I have uh, two different places where TV shows show up on my server and it's pulling in content from both of those. So I have a mix of my own stuff that I added and things that I recorded over my DVR. And then of course we have music and photos and, and some of the newer Plex features like Tidal and podcasts and web shows and whatnot. Now you can customize uh, the order of things here. So one of the things you can do very quickly is go up to any one of these little period icons you see in each module and we'll just tap on that. And I can take this off the home screen completely if I want. I can also reorder things as well. So let's say, for example, I don't want continue watching front and center. I can just grab it here and just move it down maybe to the third option like that. And if I click on the arrow here, you'll see now that on deck is first and continue watching is in uh, the third position. Uh, the other thing I can do is change what goes on here at the bottom of the screen. So right now I've got home shows, movies, music, and more. And if I click on more, I can get access to some of the other Plex features that are not on the bottom of the screen. But let's say I'm a huge podcast fan and I want access to the podcast very quickly. I can click on edit here. And if I just grab podcasts and move it above music, it will show up on the bottom of the screen now. So the first three apps that you select will show up here. The rest will be accessible when you click on more. Now, if you have one feature that you're never using, like maybe other videos and live TV and DVR, for example, I can disable both of those. It won't kill it on my server, but it will make it so that they don't clutter up the interface here. Uh, so if I go back to home here and maybe click on more again, uh, you can see the other Plex apps that are not listed down here. And then it also reminds me that I have two things disabled. I can click edit here to get those back. But if I don't want to see them, uh, just checking off these little check marks will uh, get rid of them for you. So that's some of the basic organizational structure here. Uh, but if you want to change what these things are and what they display, you can do that within each of these Plex apps here. So all these different modules are coming from a different uh, section of the app. So let's take a look at how maybe we can add one of those in. Uh, so right now I am on my uh, DVR recordings library on my main Plex server. And what I can do here is maybe say I want to uh, have more from Fox show up on my home screen. So I can click on these little uh, periods here. I can click on add to home screen. And if I go back to the home screen now, we should see that now at the bottom of the list. There it is, more from Fox US. Now what this is doing is bringing in content that is just on my uh, local Plex server, my, my WDPR2100 server but I also have the ability to select different servers and include them on the home screen as well. So I can go up here to the uh, DVR recordings option, and then I can see all the different libraries that I, I have access to. So as you can see on the list here, I have three different TV libraries on my WD MyCloud NAS device, and then I also have access to a library on somebody else's server too. So I can maybe uh, click on that one and it will take me in here. And if I want to keep tabs on what my friend is adding to uh, his server, I can click on the little periods here and add his library to my home screen as well. So if I go back home again, 
Uh, you can see now it's showing me recently added TV on Plex DVR uh, because that is my friend's library and now that will show up on my home screen. I can then maybe reorder this and put this higher up on the screen, for example. And what it's always going to do is give you a, a little parenthesis here to indicate what server that content is coming from so you know what you're looking at. So you can see here my recently added movies uh, shows WDPR2100, uh, but below that we have uh, Plex DVR in parentheses to indicate this is coming from that remote server. Now, as I mentioned at the outset, the home screen can aggregate content from multiple libraries into a single view. So let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, so when we look at my recently added movies here, uh, we've got stuff that I added, uh, but we also have some of these Hallmark Christmas movies that my wife keeps watching. Now, I thought they were done with because Christmas is over. Now they call them winter movies, and the same themes continue just without Christmas. It's just cold and snowy. So I don't want them on here. So what I'm going to do here is uh, go over to this and remove it from my home screen. I'm going to go over to Movies now. And again, we can select which library we want to see here on my sources for movies. So I'm going to select just the Movies one, which is where all my stuff goes. Now, I do want to give you a warning that I have a Christmas movie in here, but it's because they shot it in my town at one of our local bakeries. That's the only reason why it's in here. Uh, but what I'm going to do on this screen here is go to Recently Added Movies on the Movies Library. I'm going to click on this icon, and I'm going to add it to the home screen. But you're going to see it's going to give me an option. So I can add Recently Added from Movies, which is uh, this particular library, or I can have it give me that aggregated thing where it adds all the movies from all the libraries. But since I want to just limit this to this one library, I'm going to have uh, it do this. So I'm going to click on that. And now if we go back to the home page and uh, scroll down to the bottom here, we will see that the recently added movies now only has my stuff and none of these Hallmark uh, winter movies here mucking up the works. So that is how you can do that. Now, if I wanted to add those movies to the mix, what I can do is go back here to Movies and select the uh, Christmas movie option. I can then go to Recently Added Movies on this screen. I can add this to the home screen. Again, it gives me that option to add everything from the server or just that library. I'm just going to say Xmas Movies. And if I go to the front screen here, uh, what you're going to see now is that it's telling me which library uh, these movies are from. So if you look above the icons here, you'll see it's got Xmas movies in parentheses and the MyCloud. So you know what server and what library uh, it is on. And it'll add that when you have multiple library options from the same server. Uh, likewise, if I wanted to add some movies from my friend's uh, server, I can go up here and just select his library on the remote thing. And I can add his recently added movies as well. And again, I have the option to find all the movies on his server or just his movie library here that we have selected. And if I go back to home now, you can see it's got uh, his server in parentheses. So here you can really get into the uh, specifics and actually launch stuff from multiple servers without having to go in and navigate to that server first if you set up your home screen uh, the way you want. And of course, you can still browse through your libraries manually. So right now we're connected to the DVR recordings folder on my MyCloud server. I can click on all shows here and see what shows are living on that device. I can drill down into a show, for example, and watch that and any of the related content that is also on that particular library like before. But you also have the ability to search across multiple libraries. So let's do a search for Live PD real quick here. I'll just type in Live. And you'll see here, as I conduct that search, I actually have uh, content on multiple servers now available to me, including, for example, Saturday Night Live that's available in two locations. So if I tap on that search result, I can pick which server I want to see Saturday Night Live content from, and there you go. You can get uh, access to uh, content across multiple servers with a single universal search within the app. Now I'm going to switch over to my daughter's account now because you can customize these based on the user. Uh, so right now my daughter is not able to access more than just the kids library on her account. And as you can see here, I added recently aired TV for that library to her home screen. So when she logs in, 
all the new content will be available to her so she or I can decide what her home screen looks like and what content we want to have surfaced on the home screen when we log in. Again, though, I think the real power of this is for folks that are connecting to multiple Plex servers and you want to keep tabs on what new content is being added. Again, this server that we've got here was something that uh, was shared with me and I can keep an eye on whatever new is added to that one uh, whenever I pop in and that's pretty helpful there. So good stuff and I think you might want to spend some time maybe configuring the home screen to get it just the way you want. I'm sure they'll be adding things to it to make it a little bit more intuitive as time goes on but hopefully this video helped to give you an idea as to exactly how you can get the uh, Plex experience customized for what you want on your mobile devices. Until next time, this is Lon Sybin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Anuj Zaveri, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.